I'm just going to be following up the previous video that I made on how to host your own dedicated Rust server. In this video I'm going to be quickly showing you how to very easily uh, set up your port forwarding so that other players that aren't on your local network can still connect to the uh, server that you now have up and running. So here's my server, it's still running. You can see that whenever a moderator or an owner spawns something, it, uh, you can see it in the CMD. You can see how many players are connected, none at the moment. Anyway, we'll minimize that. So the first thing you want to do is just go into your browser and then uh, type up your own settings to log in to your gateway or your modem router. In my particular case, our mine is 10.1.1.1 that'll bring in your uh, user interface for your modem. You just want to sign in. Now it's going to be different for every model but it's essentially the same service. What you want to do is just go to your section where it's got WAN services or uh, you know your port forwarding rules. You want to click on that. In my case I would if I want to delete this, just pretend that wasn't there. And to make a new rule, I would just click on this here. Add new IPv4 port mapping. It might be called something else on your model, but it's essentially the same thing. That's just something to distinguish the rule by. Your protocol, if you can, you want to do TCP and UDP. Now your WAN and LAN ports are going to be the uh, the Rust port, and the default one is just 28015. You'll notice in the previous video that's the number that we use to connect from the local host, and your LAN port is just the same thing, but a 6 at the end instead of a 5, and you want 28016. So that's the range of ports that we're going to be automatically connecting to and your destination IP is just the IPv4 address of the machine that is running your server. If you don't know what yours is, it's uh, very simple to find out. You just jump on CMD, IP config, enter, and then your IPv4 address is where you enter in. In my case, it's 10.1.1.147. And just add and essentially that's all you have to do you may want to restart your gateway or whatever for changes to take effect but that's not the case with mine now what you want to do is I'm just on the same machine that the server is running on but I'm gonna load up Steam and jump into Rust and act like if I was someone else logging in from outside my network and I'll show you the command that your your friends or other players would have to use in order to gain access to your server. Now once you're logged into Rust you're not going to be able to find your own local server on any of these community or modded or local or anything like that. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to know the number to connect into but if they do if you want to send your mates uh, you know or whatever they just uh, load up the console with F1 and in the previous video where we connected to our own server on the same machine we went client.connect localhost 28015 it's very similar but what we want to do now is go client.connect space but instead of local host, you want to write so you want client.connect space in my case 10.1.1.147 colon if my keyboard wants to cooperate with me 28015 so you want to type in client.connect space your own IP address that you forwarded, colon 28015. Press enter and that'll connect you to the server. And that's all you have to do. It's very simple.
and here we are we are now back in the rust server and the exact same spot by the launch site than uh, when I connected on the local host now if you observed when I went into my router settings uh, you have noticed that I didn't actually activate the port forwarding because I had an apostrophe in my uh, port forward name apparently in my router you can't have any uh, apostrophes or anything like that it's just uh, letters so I had to go back into my router and actually just just put a different name on and actually activate my port forward and then after that I uh, loaded in perfectly so yeah that's that's how you port forward thank you very much for watching if you uh, still have any questions feel free to uh, post a comment and I'll try answer them for you I'll see you later